Could you imagine a backfield with Justin Fields and Brees Hall? We would sure. be having a completely right. different conversation. So beyond the way Without that Zach question. Wilson is playing, this is turning into what about the quarterback that y'all passed up and went to Chicago? Right. That is what this narrative is going to continue to be if he doesn't as ascend. And based on the things that I've talked to Dan about with quarterback play, there are simplicities in playing this position that the kid is not getting right now. It's the second and play I truly that, it's believe this. Yeah. Go ahead, Dio. It's, it's the second pass play of the game last week. I mean, the second pass play of the game last week, their first pass, they throw a deep, route to, uh, deep go route to Garrett Wilson. I don't mind that shot at all. He's got the as basic of, a, of the offensive play as you can do pass game-wise against a very simple defense. And everything, both pre-snap read, post-snap read, would tell him throw the left, throw to the left on the slant to Garrett Wilson. And honest to God, if he does it, Garrett might go 98 yards for a touchdown. And for some reason, yeah. he throws it to the right to Denzel Mims. And, Marcus, I was talking about like, that, that play to me tells me everything right there. You either can't, like you can't yeah. think, or you're so mentally blocked right now. But what's happening? But, Marcus, I wanted to kind of hey talk guys. about this. So, like, my, my big issue uh, is twofold. Zach coming out of school was this, like, really talented playmaker, right? I always say as a quarterback, you're either a thinker or a creator. And he was like this, this playmaking creator, right? He has more sacks taken this year under pressure than completions. So how can – if you're supposed to be – he's taken 20 sacks with dealing with pressure. He's got 16 completions. If you're supposed to be this talented athlete, playmaking creator, that can't be the case. You know what I'm saying? And I was listening yeah. to Get Up this morning with Bart Scott and Woody, and I thought, <clears throat> I thought it was Woody who made a good point because he was, he was saying the reality for the Jets is their young players have overexceeded expectations. Like they've become better quicker than they thought. And that's why the microscope is on the quarterback so much. And he hasn't taken that jump. And my only pushback to him would be this. He's actually <clears throat> gone backwards. It's not that he hasn't taken a jump. Oh. He's gone Ooh. backwards with that stuff. And that's why well, I sit here and I go, Stephen, I agree with you. I think the Jets are a very, very, very good football team. But the performance at quarterback has gotten so poor by the young man okay. that they're in an awful spot. Right. Let me let me let me let me throw this to my two football guys. I got I got a couple of things. Number one, <clears throat> when you talk about the Jets and you bring up Hall and you bring up what if they had Justin Fields, Marcus, my belief is the Jets, based on what we've seen this year from them defensively, you can make a legitimate argument they would win the AFC East. Totally. You can make a legitimate <coughs> argument. They, yeah. would be, they would win the AFC East if they had both of those brothers available to them, all right? So that brings up point number two, Dan. When we think about this, and it's just a thought, you know what I compare it to almost because of what we see in a different way because of what we're seeing from the New York Jets? I compare it to Chicago moving up to Ooh, draft Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky, Trubisky and passing on Deshaun Watson and yeah. Patrick Mahomes. Even though those, even though Justin Fields are not those guys, what he may have meant to this year's New York Jets team, I mean, it's almost tantamount yeah. to that level of significance yeah. because of all the other things the Jets have going on. That's point number two. Point number three, my boy Jeff in California, diehard Jets fan. I'm the godfather to his two children, Nicholas and Nicole. I don't know why he does this to them. He's a Jets and a Mets fan. I mean, I mean, their history of losing. How could you do that to my godchildren? I always tell them, how could you do that to them? But anyway, having said all of that, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I tell him that all the time. But here's the deal. He did bring up a point to me the other day that I wanted to throw by you two guys. He believes they should get rid of Zach Wilson, trade him, and a couple of picks and get a Derek Carr or a Jordan Love. What are y'all thoughts about that? Go ahead, Marcus. I would entertain, I would entertain Jordan Love. Um, I think because youth, you don't, he doesn't come with a big amount of money and you still want to build and continue to put some pieces on this New York Jets team, depth-wise. I think, look, it, Dan and, and made a great point. When you talk about the first 11, on both sides of the ball, outside of the quarterback. The New York Jets are talented, as talented as anybody in the NFL. On defense, you talk about young players uh, and leaders, Quentin Williams, Sauce Gardner, 
You talk about Williams on the, on the second level with C.J. Mosley. Like, this team is built really, really well. Joe Douglas has done a phenomenal job, their general yeah, manager. Very Offensively, good Garrett Wilson, Gunklin at, at uh, tight end, Brees Hall out, outside of the injury was trending towards being the rookie of the year. So I would, I would, I know Derek Carr is more of a proven commodity, but I think Jordan's love athleticism and, and, and what I believe he can be would mm -hmm. be a big boost in this offense. That's why I brought up Justin Fields. The only reason I brought up Justin Fields is when we look at, and Stephen A., you just made a great point too. When you talk about the AFC East, the different dynamic in the AFC East right now, outside of Josh Allen's arm, is his legs. That's how Buffalo is winning a lot of games and having yeah. a tremendous amount of success. You would have Justin Fields to compensate for that, somebody as dynamic, with the ball in their hand when they take off. So I, I would probably trend towards Jordan Love, Stephen A. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.